buongiorno and welcome to Mr. Shaves. Today we're going to be shaving. Yes, that might be a surprise to you. We're going to be shaving the face. Yes, I do need to shave sometimes around the beard, stroke the stubble. And today I'm going to be using a selection of things that I think you might like. So if you're interested in shaving, you want to reduce raising ra razor rash, raising rash, and you want to enjoy your shave because you're a man or woman who enjoys a good shave, join me on my journey. We're about to start. So first of all, I'm going to be starting off with this. Laponics pre-shave oil, really cheap and a nice smell. We'll talk about that. But the brush, an Omega boar hair brush. For the, lick, for the soap, cream even. Taylor's of Old Bond Street, lime zest shaving cream. For the razor, we're going to be using my 1971 Black Beauty. And last but not least, for... Ooh, move the camera. Last but not least, we're going to be using this. Vecchia Torino, made in Turin in Italy. Started off by a, a Chinese man in 1945. So we're going to be looking at all those things. Come join me! Subscribe, like... Do all the stuff, put on a hat, ring a bell, shout out your window and scream at your neighbour. Join me on a shave. First of all, we're going to wet the face. It's always good to wet the face. Here we go. I use a flannel, nice hot. Nothing worse than razor burn. And you know you shouldn't have shaved with that blade or you've, you've used too aggressive a razor. Or you've shaved a bit too much and it's a little bit tender for a while well what would really help is getting rid of uh, any chance of that by soaking your face in some nice hot as possible water for your face oh that's nice Okay, after that, we're going to put on the Laponic Shave Cream. Shaving on pre-shave oil, whatever it's called. So it says here, grape seed oil, and a load of stuff that I have no idea. Almond oil. Try and get it going. Laponics tends to come with pack different stuff. It's like an instant pack. I have reviewed a pack before. Have a look at one of those. But some of this stuff, it's got like a vanilla -y, leathery, faint smell with kind of hints of citrus, lemoniness on the top. But it's not too strong a smell. And that's a good thing. If you want to enjoy... A special razor cream, shaver cream um, that you bought, you want to try it out, but you need to put on the slip first of all. That is a good idea. Right now, we're going to use Taylor's Bob Bond Street. This is established in 1854, and they're well known and well respected all over the country and the world for shavers. This was around £16, and this will last for a while. I've soaked my ball brush in some warm water. Let's shake it down. Pick up some of this. Oh, you can smell the zesty joy of the lime zest shaving cream piercing forth into the air. So then, you get your brush. And you love her. Probably a little bit too much water, but I think it's going to be sufficiently. It's going to be okay. God, that smells really nice. It smells like one of those cakes, those, um, oh, Mar a Lago cake? Key Lago? Oh, I don't know what it's called. Limey cake. Oh, that smells nice. goes on 
so smooth. Oh yeah. Quality stuff. So we're going to use this, it's got a Dorco blade in, I've used it a couple of times, it is good for a further go. And uh, set to 9, this is an adjustable one with the Bombay doors. I always clean these by putting it in the microwave, I mean not microwave, that's a bad thing, in the dishwasher, very wrong, don't put it in the microwave. So. That feels really nice. The more you shave with it, as the blade goes through the stuff, you get wafts of that lovely lime smell. Cool. Feels nice. So lovely and it feels so smooth and moisturizing so if you've got razor rash or your skin's prone to dryness when you've had a shave this might be good because the Taylor Bob Bond Street stuff is really moisturizing plus if you put the stuff on before that's a good thing Annoying. Okay, that's, well, that's good. That's a one shave and it's clean. And it's, it's smooth. But I'm going to do another one because I want to. Smells delicious. Just think if you're having a shave and you're using boring shaving foam and you've got any old razor. Take a step up, try it out. I just dare you, I dare you, I challenge you to buy online, dead easily, some tailored old Bond Street and just give it a try. Give your face the opportunity to enjoy this stuff. So hopefully I won't get any more mix. Feels nice. That's just smooth. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling really tired today. If you work hard, it's a busy day. Sometimes in the morning you want a good old shave to give you a kickstart. Well, I think this one could be that. Try it out. Get the lime zest. Taylorsville Bond Street. Right, I'm going to do this top bit. What I tend to do, if you're a bearded fellow and you want to just get the, the lines sorted, I kind of rub off. Rub off the cream, and it's still not too hard. It's just you've got some of the residue, and uh, it helps it. Helps to move along. That's pretty much it. Okay, it's a simple shave today. Rinse it off. I use my flannel. It always makes it easier. Hopefully, I won't 
continue bleeding through my video. So, just that's good. That feels nice. Oh, I'm going to dry the face just to see how that feels after that. Now that feels nice. It's not dry, you know when you've got that, if I just had a shave and it's dry, dry. You don't have the dry with the Taylor's Bob Bond Street lime, lime zest. It feels moist and, and moisturized, caressed. So, to finish off, something special. This is Vecchia Torino. This is made in Italy in Turin. I don't think it's linked with the Shroud of Turin, but you never know. So in 1945, this guy invented this stuff, started a business, and I think his granddaughter or something runs it now, based in Turin. And I think this is a smell like no other. It's got like um, deep kind of classy tones, like kind of uh, woody, leathery, but it's also got like a citrusy kind of like top note let's put this on afterwards God, blink it up. there's quite a lot of alcohol in it and i know that because of the pain plus it does say on the back vegetarino Sometimes when you get a post-shave kind of fragrance cologne like that, it doesn't last five minutes. Now I put this on a couple of days in a row after I bought it, and it's lasted for the whole day. But it's also, it feels nice. Afterwards, it doesn't dry out the skin. It feels nice. It smells like Italian, classy man. Look at it. I haven't seen any reviews in the UK. And it's all Italian people reviewing it. And I want to say it's really, really nice. And I bought this from a website in the UK called Shaving Time. Shaving Time. And it was literally about 40, 15 pounds, something like that. Shavingtime.co.uk is a really good website. I bought, I mean, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. But I, they've got a load of stuff that I've purchased from there. And uh, all the stuff that you see all over the world reviewed that we can't really get hold of in the UK. So have a check out of Shaving Time. Uh, it comes to you pretty soon. It's good quality stuff and the prices are pretty good too. And they do all sorts of very stuff from hardware to software. Try it out. But also try out joining me. Join me. I'm asking you. I'm inviting you on my journey of shaving. Next week, I'm going to be trying out something else exciting and new. So please join me, subscribe and like, and enjoy me on my little journey around the world of shaving. Arrivederci, ci vediamo dopo.